اسمي سعد توماس ليوا My name is Saeed Thomas Lewa. At the start of August, I was on my community watch shift and we heard that ISIS were coming. We finished our shift at 7 p.m. and we saw that the army was pulling out. At 11 p.m., we saw that 90% of the village had left. It was empty. We knew people in the army and we asked them to let us know if anything was happening. At 3.30 a.m., they called us and said we have to leave. We went out and saw that the army had pulled out and everybody was heading to Erbil. Our car broke down, so we had to ride a pickup truck. We saw the army leaving fast. They were ahead of the people. And then the bombing by ISIS started in the morning. When we got to Erbil, there were about 10,000 cars and the roads were blocked. Come. I wake up in the morning and then I go out for the ICE delivery man at the front of the building. <laughs> Sometimes he comes at 6.30 a.m. Everyone takes a piece. Some days we get ICE and others we don't because they only have 20 blocks to distribute for free. We get the ICE to cool our water and sometimes we have milk or cheese that we need to keep cool. We don't have fridges here. <laughs> After I finish in the bathroom, I come to the room to dry off and get money to buy bread. I wait for about an hour and a half to get the bread because of the crowds. I had generators. I used to sell electricity and that was my source of income. I used to make around $2,000 a month and my wife had a salon and used to make up to $5,000 a month. We lost a lot. I left my generators behind and my belongings. My losses are nearly $70,000. The stuff I left behind is worth about $20,000. But there are people who lost hundreds of thousands more than me. I started with about $1,800. I'm spending about $10 a day. This is just for food and drink. I spend more when someone gets sick or if we need anything extra. All I have left now is about $600 to $700. I don't know how long I'm staying here. Is it another month or a year? I don't know how we'll survive with this amount of money. We want to go back to our homes and to our neighborhood. But even if we go back now, our lives will still be hard because there is nothing back there now. It will still be hard because there is no more work in our towns and most people went bankrupt and a lot of people left. When we go back, we are going to sell anything left and look into immigration because there is no hope in this country. In Iraq, we kept on starting from scratch and then we lose everything. And we have to start all over again and then someone comes to take your stuff. We lived through this, but we don't want our kids to live through this. The future in Iraq is zero. We don't have a future in Iraq. There is no future.